Welcome back to the channel where we do playthroughs of some of the hottest games. So if that's what you're interested in, make sure you subscribe, turn the notifications on so you know when I'm streaming or when I post new content. Also check out some of my other videos on my channel. I just finished a Red Dead 2 walkthrough. Link to that somewhere at the top up here. All that said, let's jump right into our Fallout 76 playthrough. Alright, we're back at it so let's go register as a volunteer right quick knock that out and we'll move on move on to the next so let's use volunteers register here photo mode feature unlocked photo frame the responders Welcome volunteer. Transferring course to your external hardware done. Report to responder Kesha McDermott for further instructions. Alright. Help yourself, then help others. Benami, responder. Lead Flatwoods leadership. So this just tells you about the people. So I'm going to go through it quickly. You can pause it and read them. Colonel, that's that young boy, 13. Kesha McDermott, that's who we need to find. Monitoring water safety protocols. So she's the water person. Optional, search for her location in the system. Done. Trying to contact, ooh, what was that? Scott Shepard, study the reasons why. Knowledge of the big picture, no idea. Transfer to Morgantown Airport, so he's not even here anymore. Delbert Winters. Runs Flatwood Kitchen, so he's the cook. Sophia Yates. Student Delbert Volunteer Training Class. All right, whatever. All right, so now let's go. You are safe now. Don't know what that means, but. Quest completed. First contact. Booyah! Alright, so... Now, we need to go find Kesha. Got a jumpsuit, healing salve, some ammo. First things first. We got a jumpsuit? What? Let's see here. Responders paramedic jumpsuit. Boom gonna wear that for a while I'm a paramedic y'all all right so let's go find Kesha McDermott event fertile soil your pit boy is receiving a priority message these will be played all all responders. Well, Mr. Farmhands are out of control evacuate civilians and take down those supervisors once they're dealt with you'll have to reboot the server again Fertile soil. Change farmhands targeting parameters. So this, retrieve the water testing kit from Kesha McDermott. This is Kesha, I guess she's dead. So water testing kit, got it. Survivor story, Kesha McDermott. And take that. NASA has asked us all to document our stories for posterity. I am Kesha McDermott. When the bombs fell, I was in Watoka, coordinating a statewide science fair for that year's high school kids. And the theme was the future of energy. After the bombs, everything was pretty chaotic. Scavenging for food and fighting off rabid survivors. Oh, it was just a bad time all around. I found a couple of surviving kids from the high school whose parents didn't make it. And we holed up in a house in town for a while. After a bit, I was able to solder the circuitry in an old radio, and we tuned in to a broadcast from the responders. Oh, we were overjoyed. The trip from a 
Tokotoka to Flatwoods. Test water rough, sample. Mind you, the kids and I ran into a group of assholes in the mountains who Language. stole our food and Dang. water. God. They had a problem though. Their water sources were contaminated heavily. Yeah. Water, Get off of me. Long enough to make it safe. So, I stepped up and I said, I'll build a testing kit to monitor the contamination and I will teach folks how to properly boil water. <laughs> and I did. Good the job. Analyze better, water testing kit results in Kessler's so lab. We need to the make heck is sure that? it doesn't relapse too. It's going to take time and care, that's all. Who's this? Well, time, care, and science. Where the heck is Kessler's lab? It's not in there, is it? Oh yeah, that's right. I remember. Analyze. Use. Analyze water sample. Done. Conclusion water has not significantly improved since the last sample from the same coordinates. Water type dirty, disease severe. Okay, well, don't drink it. Okay. We heard about this? how we can make sure our water is safe for drinking. Yeah, we've heard that. We listened to that. Alright, so let's get out of here. So we gotta go boil water using dirty water and wood fuel. If I remember right, there's a cooking station over here. Yes, sir. There it is. Boiled water. Make. All right. How much boiled water can we make? That's it. All right. So that's good. Check in with the self-serve kiosk. Right back where we were. Give me this. Where, what are you holding? I'll take that crispy squirrel bits. What's this? Drinking glass. Free cooking lessons. Delicious and free cooking lessons just outside Flatwoods Tavern in the parking lot. Reverend Delbert Winters leads cooking lessons every day, free to all survivors. Come get fed and learn how to cook the old-fashioned way. Menu, Reverend Winters' famous Appalachie. Corn pone yum. Cranburgers. It's definitely meat. Well, probably at least some of it. Kindly refer to your local friendly responder for details and class schedules. All right. There's a hollow tape over there on the counter. We'll get that in a minute. Oh. Check volunteer status. Leveled up, baby. Sending data to responder Kessler's terminal for additional analysis. Done. You must complete one more experiment for responders to become a full volunteer. Transferring course to your external hardware. Done. Report to responder Delbert Winters for further instructions. Okay. Mm okay. Look for Delbert Winters at his home. Thirst things first. This is. Alright. Someone, please help me! Please let me out! That's the guy in the fridge. That sucks for him. 
He Tonight, died in a frigidator. The final chapter of Who Goes There? A Strange Encounter in Flatwoods. In the last episode, Pioneer Scout Red Fisher met a curious girl named Sally while hiding in the dark. But as it turned out, they weren't alone. There are other people here? Yeah, they probably just went to get more food. They'll be back soon enough. You can wait with me, and they'll give you food too. You just have to hear what they want. Reverend Delbert Winters here, born and raised in this very town. Met my own church to the responders for their outpost here. Survivor's basic ribeye. Get some meat from one of the local cows. Some some the the stop using the roads. open up again and take us all up, anyways. When this all happened, I figured, like most, it was time. This was the end, but but it wasn't. Much. We're still here. At first, I thought it was a mistake that we was missed, forgotten. Maybe we did some wrong. Didn't give enough to charity, maybe. Didn't praise his name, even in the worst of times. Maybe thought some things that ought not to have been thought. So I asked him. I asked how. Why? I I'll let you guys pause her. it and read these. I ready to fight them up there by your side. Then in my despair, I saw some survivors raw red carcass behind the dumpster. You ought to cook that first, I warned him. Seemed obvious. We tried but got sick, they said, covered in their own filth. I realized right then in there that I would be a task. Then on, I built kitchens, cooked good food, fed anyone who walked up with an empty belly, and I was thankful for my task in life. Thank you. <laughs> Next time hell or high water land in my stoop, I'll be swept clear away with it. But till then, let's hear a whole good deal together, all right? All right. So now we gotta go cook a ribeye steak. Ribeye steak, ribeye steak. Dun dun dun. There we go. Actually, we should probably cook it all up. If not, it'll go bad. Soap bean soup. More rat chunks. We don't want anything to go bad. Glowing fungus soup. Yeah, I don't think I want that. Usually rats. Brain fungus soup. I don't want that either. Alright. Now that that's done. Oh gosh, back to the check in. Guys. Hey. Everybody's dead. So we should be a responder now. Complete training. Congratulations, volunteer. Granting access to the responder database. Done. What, what? Contact the responders using the database. I don't know what that means. Log in. Contact Responders HQ. Done. Slocum Joe's, Morgantown Train Yard, Morgantown Airport. A large horde of scorched is on the move and might be headed for our main base at Morgantown Airport. All personnel are requested to report to HQ as soon as possible. Bring weapons and medical supplies. Maria Chavez. Connection terminated. All right. Restricted messages. Training volunteers. By now everyone has heard about what happened with Casey and the two young survivors that arrived from the Sutton. It's tragic. There are no words, but we must... We, he just didn't know, and they trusted him to know. 
So we've decided that all volunteers must now start as volunteer candidates first, and during this time we go over the basics now. Food, water, and that sort of thing. Casey decided to travel into the mountains to clear his head. We tried to persuade him to stay, but it's his choice. We hope he'll return soon. So Casey is missing. Oh, what is that? The new kiosk should help us handle additional volunteers should any arrive. Lately, most of the survivors are too injured to help themselves, let alone others. But they see the kiosk as a sign that people will be arriving soon to help. We need that hope. We need it. Kiosk bugs. The self-serve kiosk seems to have some issues. The message of the day keeps cycling every hour, and every time I add a new volunteer, it doesn't save the profile or send the information to the admin terminal. Interviews. We are the survivors, folks. We are learning how to live out here, and we need to preserve and distribute this knowledge. Do you know how to make clothing from animal hide? Determine a good berry from a poison one? Let's talk about it. Let's tell the world what we've learned. Welcome. Welcome responders and volunteers. Thanks for working with us. As you know, we are trying to cope with the influx of survivors that need our help. The new volunteer program is going to help us concentrate on medical help while volunteers focus on basic survival needs. We are also collecting data for the responders database which will help us rebuild Appalachia. Appalachia? Appalachia? one day so please contribute data when you can all right good to know i don't see why that any of that was restricted but whatevs investigate morgantown airport all right so let's we're gonna go do that then we're gonna head up to morgantown all airport right, everybody so that's it for today's episode i hope you guys did enjoy as much as i enjoyed making it for you if you did, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn those notifications on so you know when I'm streaming and post new content. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.